Hey, Stay Paid listeners, before we jump into this week's episode, which is all about how to do a client pop-by visit, I wanted to call your attention to a new thing that we rolled out recently. This is our print and give collection from Reminder Media. You can go to shop.remindermedia.com. We have a lot of our printables that we have on our site, these are like our most popular resources that we have on our website where people can download them and print them out themselves at home. We actually offer those printed for you. So you can head on over to shop.remindermedia.com to get things like a Reese's Pieces, Have I Told You Recently, How Much I Appreciate Your Referral Card. We have some great door hangers. Our most popular one says, curious what to know what your home's worth. You can attach your business card to that and then you can put those on those door hangers or put them on the door knobs. You hang the door hangers on the door knobs. We have a great uh, uh, discount code right now going on. We got 10% you can get off of those, as well as anytime you order more than five packs, you'll get free shipping. So head on over to shop.remindermedia.com to take advantage of that. And now let's get into this week's episode. From Reminder Media, this is Stay Paid, a sales and marketing podcast on a mission to help you close more deals and retain more business. Hosted by the VP of Marketing, Josh Steik, and Reminder Media's president, Luke Akery. So get ready to hear the golden nuggets that will allow you to live a life of freedom tomorrow, but only if you take action today. Welcome to another Silver Dollar episode of Stay Paid, the best sales and marketing tips of your week in 15 minutes or less. My name is Joshua Stike. And I'm Luke Akery. The country is reopening, Luke. We are reopening and warm weather is here, at least for us in the Four Seasons area of the world. I know we've got a lot of listeners that they have warm weather all year long. Yes, I envy you. But that means it is time to get back out and visit our clients. One of the most tried and true relationship building activities is the client pop-by. So client pop-by visits are not only a great way to connect with your past clients, but they're also a great way to put yourself in the presence of new business opportunity and to do it organically. So today we're going to go over what pop-bys are, the type of gifts that you can bring with you on your visit, and then ultimately how to execute them well. Do you know who created the Popeye? I don't know who created it. I think uh, Brian, Brian Buffini, Buffini sort of really popularized s- it. He popularized it in, in real estate for yeah, sure. Like, yeah. and that's how I learned about it uh, yeah. was from him. So if you don't know him, he's a incredible real estate coach, thought leader. You should check him, check him out. He's written a bunch of good book, books. Yeah. So today, so really we're going to go over what a Popeye is and then why do Popeyes. So the idea of the Popeye, obviously, makes a lot of sense, is to pop by and say hi to your clients, meet with them. Uh, and typically you would yeah, want to do this. it was rocket science? Nope. <laughs> if you thought it was simple. something to do with Pop Rocks? No. This is something, so typically you want to schedule these once a quarter. Um, this would be for your clients who maybe you haven't seen in a while. Mm-hmm. Maybe they don't come out to your client events if you're doing client events like that. Uh, and a great way to catch up and, and to build the relationship that you have with your clients that's one step further, right, than picking up the phone, having a phone call, sending a text message, sending them a piece of marketing material. Yeah, I would make the point too, is the people you're popping by, these are core relationships to you. Mm -hmm. Like the first people you should start with are the ones that you go, I I have a real relationship with these people. Maybe you sold them a home and that's the only relationship you had, but you want to strengthen it. But it's the same people, like I think the example you gave of client events is a great way to start is going, who would I invite right now to a client happy hour? And those people, you should be trying to pop by their house maybe once a quarter. That way you can strengthen the relationship. And I, I read, and I agree with this 100%, is like, you're not trying to go over there and live all day over there. You're not trying to spend 30 <laughs> minutes over there. You're not trying to spend an hour over there. You're, you're not moving like in. Three minutes. Yeah. You're talking, you know, you're popping by, saying hello, having a convo. If the convo engages more and it's natural to stay a little longer, that's fine. Yes. But it's not, you're not meant to stay over there all afternoon. Yeah. So this kind of brings us into this idea of, well, how do you plan for your Popeyes? Number one, you want to schedule in advance. This is not something you want to surprise people with. Uh, We, you know, today's, there's a comic that had like this whole bit about how back in the day, like when the doorbell would ring or you get a knock on the door, everyone would be so excited. Your mom would already have like cookies on the table just in case company came over and we're not there anymore right people need a little bit of heads up the doorbell rings and everyone kind of hides and that was kind of the 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 comics joke but the idea is pick a weekend you know you're not going to be showing a lot of properties or doing a lot of business if you're in an industry other than real estate text call and i'm I'm actually going to give credit where credit's due here i watched a uh, real estate agent in tampa her name was crystal brady and she was on a podcast waypoint uh, real talk that actually walked through her 
process for doing pop buys. She will text, call, or email people on Thursday. So let's say she's mm-hmm. doing the pop buy on Sunday um, or Saturday afternoon. Uh, and again, this goes back to the type of communication preference that your clients enjoy. So make sure that you're keeping track of how people like to communicate. If they're texters, shoot them a text. If they're phone calls, give them a call. This is the script that she uses. She says, I'm doing some client visits this weekend and I've got a little gift I'd like to stop by and drop off to you if you're going to be home. I'm going to be in your area on Saturday afternoon and then wait. Just wait to see what they say. If they're like, oh, that'd be great. You can leave it on the doorstep. Well, you know how to take that that visit. If they are they excited and they want to see you, then make That's sure fantastic. to schedule them yeah. in. And then put that in sort of like a block of, you know, four hours or something within a neighborhood. Try and hit as many of those homes, as many of those clients as you can within the, those four hours. And then make sure that you text them sort of when you're, what, 15, you know, 15, 20 minutes out just so that they have a heads up. She would actually get invited in constantly. So I know you mentioned, hey, this can be a three minute talk. It yeah. could be depending on the type of clients or the type of uh, people that you're doing business with. But she would get invited in constantly, end up spending 15, 20 minutes there. That's crazy. They, yep. would, they would show her all of the new renovations that they had done uh, in their home since they sold. Uh, They would ask her mortgage advice, right? They would actually like ask her refinancing advice. She would get referral opportunities from it just from these natural organic conversations of catching up. And that leads us into our next one really, which is by bringing like an item of value. Yes, correct. Um, I saw, I think it was Brian Buffini's. It was, it was pretty clever and I think it makes a lot of sense. I don't know when this podcast is coming out. July 4th might already be past by this time but he was he was giving the example of hey look barbecues are happening july 4th is coming up so he would bring ketchup relish and mustard Mm -hmm. as one of the popeyes and it was a corny little thing but they always say with popeyes you want to make it you know kind of fun so he would be like hey i just wanted to catch up with you let you know i I relish your referrals (laughs) for your real estate agent that cuts the mustard mustard, (laughs) and i was like (laughs) as i listened to that i go that's Incredible. Yeah, I love that. That's really, really good. But think about it. You're dropping off ketchup, relish, and mustard. You're giving it to them as a gift. Mm-hmm. It's barbecue season. Fourth of July is about to be there. Everybody's probably barbecuing, right? And so they're going to appreciate that. And ultimately, what you're trying to do is just go, hey, I care about you. Yeah. Uh, you know, letting you know, hey, I want to stop by, check in, see how you're doing, bring this corny little gift, but I care about you. And the hope is that it triggers reciprocity. Yeah, they don't have to be expensive, right. over the top gifts here. You're going to be trying to hit, you know, at 20, 30, 40 homes. So you want to do something that's within, within your budget. There's some other great ideas, I think, from Buffini. Where where they would do like for Easter, they would give like marshmallow peeps and say, have your peeps call call my peeps for referrals. Father's Day would hand out spatulas and say, I'd flip for your referrals with a little grill tag. We had a cool one for the sanitizer for uh, COVID. What did the sanitizer said? Uh, Uh, Spread referrals, not germs. And you could put a little bottle of hand sanitizer. This was back when, you know, no one could get hand sanitizer. (laughs) So we made these little cards. Yeah. Spread referrals, not germs. And it gave, you know, you were able to get hand sanitizer, put it on this thing. We have Uh, a ton. So Buffini actually sells these things. We we have a ton on our website as well. If you go to remindermedia.com slash printables. Uh, So we've got like a Reese's peanut butter cup one where you put Reese's peanut butter cups and say, have I told you recently how much I appreciate your referrals? Any sort of candy, any sort of small gifts. You could even use our blog over at AmericanLifestyleMag.com. We've got a lot of those great like pre-made mixes. So you could make like a pre-made cocoa mix, put it in a nice little jar or pre-made, I forget the other one we had, like a soup mix or something Mm -hmm. like that. You can put into a jar. It's simple stuff that just makes an uh, impression. If you print something along with it that's sort of clever, that makes a little bit more memorable. We could have a laugh out of it. But if it's not your personality, you know, don't, don't do something that's outside your personality. Go to, just go to Google, go to Pinterest. Don't make this harder than it has to be. So many great ideas. There was, I there. literally typed in Popeyes and there's a Pinterest page that has 680 pop- pop pie ideas. Wait, that, was that our or, Pinterest page? I don't think it was, <laughs> but um, it's awesome. Like, I mean, you can see so many of these. Glinda Baker, she does a really cool thing. She pop buys her clients' homes, but one of the cool things she does is she ties it to a lot of times the neighborhood she's in with uh, either she was prospecting there or she has a current client, buyer she's showing homes to, and she kind of ties in her communication with where she's at in the area. And that's a really cool tip because it's natural. It's like, hey, I was in your neighborhood or I'm going to be in your neighborhood on Saturday. Would love to pop by. And it's just a way to make it more natural for you as you go about your day and also more efficient. Yeah. So then we come to sort of the pop by itself. It's, all right, I'm there. I'm talking to my clients. What do I do now? Look, number one, you're not soliciting for business. This yep. is not an opportunity to step in and try and start selling someone or going in and asking for referrals right away. Your marketing materials and those little fun things can have those sort of referral flags there uh, available. But you want to be open to how they receive you, right? So first and foremost, you're stopping by, you're giving the gift. If they invite you in, 
you're comfortable with it, go on in. If they just want to have the conversation out there on the porch, that's completely fine as well. Um, but like I said, you know, they might start opening up and sharing what's going on uh, with, with, um, you know, with the home since you did the transaction or start asking you questions that they may not have otherwise proactively reached out and asked you. But since you're there, brought them something nice, they're going to naturally start asking those questions that you're an expert in. And then the other tip that I would give is take a picture, right? Take a picture oh, with yeah. your clients if they're comfortable with it. Take a selfie while you were at their, uh, at their house, social. post it on social media, yep. tag them. Hopefully they'll tag you as well. And then everyone in their, in their circle of friends, which is more than likely in your community and someone that you would also want to work with, will see that you're doing that stuff for your clients and may be more inclined to reach out to you as well. Yeah. The key here with the Popeyes, what I would drive home for people is you're in a relationship based business, whether you're in financial services, insurance, you're selling makeup, your Tupperware parties, really estate agents. I know we have a ton of different people listening to the podcast. You're in a relationship-based business. This is really focusing in on, I believe that if I build a relationship with people and that if I stay top of mind and I let them know that I appreciate them, this mixed in with all my other drip marketing that I'm doing will result in referrals. And statistically, you usually find that a person in your database, one of your core clients is going to come into contact with three to five people a year that needs your expertise. So if you're insurance right now, if I'm in your database, Luke's going to know three to five people a year who need some help with whether it's property casualty insurance, life insurance, something around their policy. And you're hoping in that moment, Luke has a strong enough relationship with you that he ends up referring you. He ends up recommending you. So when you think about your pop buys, don't think about it in terms of a thousand people. Think about it in terms of 25 core clients. How many of you could pick 25 core people in your database and literally go and show them appreciation knowing that in the short term, it might not pay off, but in the long term, it will pay dividends. Absolutely. Thank you so much for listening to our pop by strategies. You can head on over to staypaidpodcast.com for the show notes and any resources that we mentioned there. I will go ahead and plug because we have a great printable, or I guess it's a downloadable. It's like an Excel file that you can download. Uh, Remindermedia.com slash pop by. So this is actually a tracker where you can put in your clients, their addresses, you can put in your budget, what you're looking to spend, how many of these little items of value you need to create. There's like three or four tabs on there that you can keep track of all this. Our team made it here. It also links out to all of those free printables that we have that you can print out. All you have to do is supply the item. So if it's for the Reese's, you just have to supply the peanut butter cups. We'll give you the tag. You can have those printed out. That's remindermedia.com slash pop by. And then we also sell some of those. So if you don't have time to print them out yourself, you can head on over to shop.remindermedia.com and you can buy those Reese's tags there as well. To support the show, we'd love it if you subscribe on Apple Podcast, leave us a five-star review and a comment to let us know how we're doing. And the best way is to tell a friend and share this episode on your social media. Yes, pop by a friend's house, home about the uh, podcast. It's just, an item of value. Just here to let you know about a podcast. <laughs> how are you doing today? Uh, Luke, what was your first job? Uh, first job was uh, lawn or landscaping. I was landscaping. Yeah, lawn mowing and stuff. I mine was um, a trash collector. Really? Yeah, yeah. But learning, uh, learning how to collect trash isn't as hard as you think. You just pick it up as you go along. So yeah, pretty yeah. easy. <laughs> pretty easy to. Yeah, that was a pretty we lame. Oh, for two joke. today. If you want to get hold of me or Luke, <laughs> technically send us a three. better joke to read on the podcast. <laughs> you can email us at podcast at remindermedia.com or you can find us on Instagram and Facebook. We are at Stay Paid Podcast. For this episode of Stay Paid, I'm Joshua Stike. Guys, I'm Luke Acre. Your action item is simple pick 10 of your core clients and go do a pop by. If you're not willing to do the pop by, you're thinking to yourself, that's not my strategy, it's not what I want to do. Call those 10 clients. The key with the pop by is the same with the phone calls. It's to strengthen the relationship. It's to give value. Call up, see how they're doing. Go knock on their door, pop by, bring an item of value, something that's nice that you can give them just to build relationships so you can trigger that normal reciprocity so when the timing's right, they think of you and not your competition. Remember, the difference between a top producer and a mediocre producer is top producers take action. Take action on that today. 